What's up, friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. You know, it's been a long, long winter. It's kind of windy out here today. The wind is hawking. I'll be honest. It's hawking out here today. But it is so nice because it is warming up. It literally went from like 0 to 60. It's like 80 degrees out here today. It is absolutely, positively beautiful. The leaves, well, the trees are beginning to bud up. So in probably about two weeks, I'll have some leaves and some shade. And you can look. Look, look, who, look who are back. Look who are back. They're like, hey, it's been a long winter. Time to feed us. Um, if I had some food for them, I would. I, I got to go to the store and get some food for them. But, but you can see that they're here. They are exact, I mean, happy as can be. They've made it through the winter. And it was almost funny because I had people who said in the fall, well, what do you do with the fish in the wintertime? Say what? Yeah. What do you do with the fish in the wintertime? nothing they're like you don't bring them inside for the winter i'm like do they bring the fish in the rivers and the lake no you don't but anyway interesting take i'm trying to understand something because the dallas cowboys keep getting seattle you know what I mean by Seattle? Seattle. We have players that say, that are from Seattle, that say, I want to go to the Cowboys. Famously, we had Earl Thomas come into the locker room and say, come get me. I've dreamed about playing for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. He tried to trade for him. Didn't work out. But then he had the opportunity as a free agent to go to Dallas. But he said, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to go take the money in Baltimore. And that's what he did. Then we had Jamal Adams, who we flirted with. We tried to make a trade for, but it ended up being Seattle took him. And then there's that nightmare trade that we actually did have happen. And maybe after that one, we're lucky we didn't have the trades with Seattle happen. Because you think about the Joey Galloway trade where we literally gave up two number ones for a guy who literally didn't bust a grape for the Cowboys. It was bad. It was really bad. It was so bad that when we first started talking about getting Amari Cooper, I was like, Remember that trade we made for Joey Galloway? Remember that trade we made for Roy Williams? Those did not work out real well for us. Okay. So, we have free agent linebacker, K.J. Wright. K.J. Wright, outstanding. K.J. Wright had double-digit quarterback hits and tackles for losses. I think the only linebacker that did that. K.J. Wright is 31, but he's still playing at an elite level. K.J. Wright, who knows Dan Quinn. K.J. Wright, talking to Mike Fisher, said playing for the Cowboys would be a dream. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Playing for the Dallas Cowboys would be a dream. At least with this situation, we wouldn't have to trade for him. He's a free agent. Seattle let him go. KJ Wright did say, as far as Seattle goes, see, you know, that, that he wouldn't be taking a home team discount. And I, I'm still trying to understand this thing about teams wanting guys to take a home team discount very rarely does that ever happen because here's the thing that i could understand if it was like if you take a you know a, a home team discount you know when you're not able to really play and perform we'll hold on to you 
and pay you back by keeping you on the roster and giving you an extra year or two, you know, because you gave us a home team discount. That home team discount always seems to be a one-way street because the team has no problem saying, no problem saying, I'm sorry, my, my, I'm just looking at the camera here. Uh, my battery's done. But the team has no problem saying, you know what? You haven't performed. We're going to cut you. Even though you gave us a home team discount. So that's where I don't understand why everybody thinks, yeah, that guy should give a discount. The teams don't do that for you. So why are you expected to do that for them? So he's not looking to come to Dallas on the cheap. He wants to get paid like every player does. But if you could add a guy with that kind of skill set, that would be an amazing thing. And I'd be all in for that. Hell, if the Cowboys sign KJ Wright, I'd cut my hair online. I, I cut my hair. I would literally cut my hair here live on the Joe Blue Sports Report. I, I seriously would. But I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that's just one of those things that a guy does to try and help get himself a deal elsewhere. Anyway, my battery's dying, and I better finish this before it does, or else none of the recording will come through. But it's so nice to see my babies. It's so nice to see you guys. I'll go to the store and get you some food. I'll get you some food. That, yes, I will. Yes, I will. All right. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.